What is it again this time? Did you go gossiping with your newfound friend? Newfound friend? Who's that? Yes, your nosy neighbor. Oh, Dorothy. Honey, Dorothy's a harmless woman. Trust me, she means well, that woman. I've told you once before that I don't like the lady and I haven't changed my mind about that. She has no business telling me how to treat my wife or my daughter. <clears throat> well, I'm sorry, uh, but I can assure you I haven't discussed us with her at all. Good. I promised you that I would behave. But if you want me to shut you up, I can. And I will. How has Ben been behaving lately? Well, he's been nice. Good. So you've discussed with him about letting you start your own business? Um, not exactly. I'm, I'm giving him time. These things cost money. Don't slack. Keep the pressure on. One of the reasons why he keeps maltreating you is because you're not doing anything. You're just there, sitting at home, waiting for him to come back every day. I know, I know, but it's not like his own business is picking up at all. I just... Nevertheless, let him realize it's not business as usual. His wife, not a boxing sparring partner. Have you been avoiding me? 
How can I avoid my boss whom I need to report to every day? I see your documents on my table, but I don't see your face. Obviously, you know I'm too busy. Even to have lunch with me this afternoon? I'm sorry. I promised my boyfriend I'll be having lunch with him. Perfect. I will have lunch with my wife. Don't ask me. Elizabeth! Are you angry with me? No. My mom said I should don't discuss about my family. I'm your friend. It's a gossip. It's not good to discuss about a family matter. No, it's a gossip. Why? Mommy! Yeah? Elizabeth said her mom said she not discuss her family. When did she say that? She said it to Daddy's school. That's true. You should not discuss with others what happens in your home. But we are friends. Even with friends, you've got to be careful. Everyone has a secret. Hmm? You cannot wash your dirty linen in public. Okay. Mm -hmm. What should I say about my dad? Honey, you know, you know your daddy traveled. Mommy, mm -hmm. I'm your son, not your friend. To me, you're breaking my heart. But darling, I, I told you he traveled. Can't I talk to him on phone?
to Jeff. Please, I want to talk to you. Jeff, please. For God's sake, what is it again? Huh? I thought you were sleeping at the sitting room. Nothing. Just let me be, please. I need to sleep. Have I not always wanted the best for us? How have I affected you other than saying to be responsible? Hey, Nicole, I can't have you bossing over me simply because you've got a job and I don't. I can't! I... Quiet! I am still talking. See? This thing cannot work between us. I am who I am and there's nothing you or anybody out there can do to change that. Okay? There are better men out there and you deserve the best. So leave me alone. Go out there and find one for yourself, okay? I am willing to be with you like this. I am willing to spend the rest of my life with you like this. Maybe I love you. For God's sake, I said I need to sleep. Or, or can't you understand simple English? Don't you? This is not fair. Yeah, this is not fair. I disobeyed my parents just to be with you. And I swore that this relationship was worth well, please. Hey. Anyway, since we enjoy talking, you go ahead and talk. But let me warn you, don't let this throw hands touch me again because if it does, I'll break your head. <laughs> yeah, please, I love you. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Yeah, please, I love you. You stay away from me! Are you an info? Because I'm tired. More reason why you need to sleep. Because you need that rest. Ben. Yeah. I want my freedom. What? You heard me. I want my freedom. I'm tired of being caged in this house. And besides, Elizabeth is edgy. She's afraid the fight might start again. That's not a good thing for a child. But I promise you that I wasn't going to hit you anymore, didn't I? Still, I want to do my own thing. So I wasn't wrong. I said that I didn't like that friend of yours. Please, Dorothy has nothing to do with this. Dorothy has everything to do with it. Yes, she does. She's the one who's been coaching you to do all these your tiny things, right? Now, if she's the decent woman she claims she is, where is her husband? She's divorced. Obviously. Isn't that evident that that is the same thing she wants for you? She's trying to wreck your home. Just think a little bit. Home? Home? Oh, I didn't realize I had a home. I thought I was a slave. Isn't that how I'm being treated in this house? Okay. I can see you're just trying to start another fight. And I am not in the mood. Not tonight. Ben, I have a mind of my own and I have made it up. Tomorrow, I'm going out to look for a job. Okay? I'm educated. And I need to care for my daughter the way she should be cared for. Try it. Just try it. And I dare you to step out of this house tomorrow. Come on, what will you do? Hmm? You want to hit me again? Supposed
supposed to be family. family. Living love and unity. unity. While tearing each other. Why holding each Where other? Oh, oh, where is the love? Hey, where is the love we want to share? Where is the love? Oh. Where did I go wrong? I thought I had the perfect man. I not do everything possible to preserve my marriage. What do I tell my son about his father? And make her wherever you are. God will continue to punish you. God will continue to Punish you. God, oh. I know you can hear me. Why should I be punished and humiliated like this? Do I truly deserve this? God. Where is the end of the story that says, and they lived happily ever after? God, where is it? <laughs> Your phone is 
string here. It's your father and I don't talk to him. Yvonne! thinking he was going to pounce on me. You had nothing to worry about now. Also the man there to protect you. That one. He too is becoming a problem. I'm no longer certain he will defend me. Look, Ethel is a growing child. And just like Liz, I mean, it's only natural for kids to get to a certain age and become curious. It's nothing, don't be worried. He's getting me very worried. Don't pass. Trust me. Now, um, Dorothy, on a more serious note, I'm thinking about leaving then. <laughs> to where? When you got married, it was for better or for worse. It's for worse, trust me. Yvonne, you don't want to be a single parent. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. But I can't continue like this. I can't. I'm afraid I might just run mental or something, jump off the bridge one early morning. Instead of leaving, I believe you should stand your ground, fight for your rights. Things are bound to change. You cannot leave your home for another woman to come and harvest where she did not sow. What if things don't change? Hmm? What if he gets worse? He becomes more violent. What do I do then? Will I wait for him to kill me first? Why don't you wait until then? I'll be with you every step of the way. Okay? Have you seen your husband on the television? That's what Mr. Ben Africa, CEO, absolutely. I'm happy for the both of you too. Perhaps this will calm him down. What I know. Listen, I've made up my mind. I will share my own career. Patience, my dear. I'm sure everything will work out fine. Yes, sir. Come on. I know you're wondering what her luggages are doing here, right? No, because I have no right to whatsoever. Yvonne, let's not start a fight, okay? Nico has a little accommodation problem and I'm trying to help out. Until the company can find her a new place, she'll be staying here for a while. Why are you telling me? Isn't she here already? What does that mean? You should have sought my consent first before bringing her into this house. Nicole is a member of my staff. So? Is this your staff quarters? Is it? Okay, since you just refuse to understand... No, 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 Ben. It is you who has absolutely no respect or regard for me as your wife whatsoever. You do not raise your voice on me. We are guests. And so, if I do, what will you do? You realize you have a guest, don't you?
I hope my daughter isn't asking you too many questions. Oh, not at all. I'm actually enjoying her company. Please, um, come with me. I'll show you too. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Are you going to sleep in the house? Uh, please. Auntie Nicole will be staying with us for a while. Okay. suddenly become rude, you talk back, and you seem to have developed some sort of... Self-confidence? Hmm? I will not tolerate you talking to ben, me Ben, 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 please, don't raise your voice at me. Don't. Well, except you're ready to show your barbaric self to that person you call his staff. You don't talk to me when I talk. Okay? You never talk to me when I talk to you. Ah! You slap me. You You think you can talk to me? Man, huh? stop. Man, stop. You don't talk to me when I talk. Life, you stupid coward! Excuse me. What? What? Oh. what did you do? Be disgusting yourself, girl. Leave me. Open the door. again. Isn't she? I can do whatever I want. Yvonne, let's go. <laughs> uh, 
I dare you to lay a finger on me and I'll sue you for all your worth. Even the pants on you is gone. So you are the evil brain behind all of this, yes. right? You trying to wreck my home like you did to yours. No. What's your home? You have thrown out that delusion you have a home. You stupid, sick, irresponsible fool. Oh, you can talk. You're a coward. You can talk. You're a coward. Talk! I will talk. Your yes. mentor is here, right? If you speak, a slap for yourself. Right. Whatever you do, don't come home. I will. I am not happy about it. Nice. Let's go. Just it's okay, it's okay. Let's go. Sir, I am not happy about Nikki. Please step out of this. It's between my wife and myself. Just leave it at that. How can I? I am already in it. By stepping into your house and your world. Then walk out. Walk out of my house and out of my world. I don't have anywhere else to go. I am already out of Jack's life and you know it. Then walk on to mine. Please, sir. Tell me in one sentence. This whole drama, has it got to do with me coming here? No. Did you not introduce Yvonne to me as your wife? Nicole, what's your point? What's your freaking point? The point is, I am disappointed, sir. I'm sorry. I, mean, I don't know what else. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. You didn't show it. I pleaded with you. And you even hurt me. is all about learning from our mistakes. Haven't I done enough? Haven't I been patient enough? Haven't I been tolerant and submissive as a wife? Enough, Yvonne. This is not what you need right now. What am I going to do? Live. Life is the answer to your question. Look, you have a daughter. God forbid anything should happen to you. Who's going to look after her? Look beyond Mr. Ben, whatever your husband's name is. Dream high. There's hope out there. Live your life. You had problems at home. I know. It's. I'm just tired. You know? I'm just. 
tired and sick and tired of all of this. You know? It's, she provokes me with every little thing so easily. Is it that she provokes you easily? Or you get angry at every little thing she does? I don't know. Yeah. I don't freaking know. I'm just, I'm just confused right now. Supposing you take a vacation? Like, you, you travel for some time? Perhaps when you come back, your head will be clear. I wish I could. But you know I can't. This is going this big deal and you know about it. I can't put the business at risk. It's not possible. I know. I cut us into the big league. And I will be there to sort things out. Absolutely. I know you can take care of me. I know. So fine. Now take my suggestion. Meanwhile, I must leave this house in the morning. Why? Because I can't stay here anymore. Not after what happened. I will get you a place tomorrow. Okay. Remember when I told you that I might be petite, but with very tall ambition? buy a house, not rent. But the snipe is, I do not have the money. You can, you can give me a room. I mean, if we have this business thing going, the minute we work it out, yeah, the company can give you a loan. Why not? Thanks so much. I knew you would help me realize this dream. That's why I'm here. But the house must be in my name. Anything for you. Who's there? The door is open. Good morning. How can I help you? Um, I wanted to have a word with you. If it's about my wife, I'm not interested. Besides, I know she's in your house. Yes, she is. And that is why I wanted us to... Please. As you can see, I'm on my way out. 